we can select and transform our objects in uh, object mode or sub object mode so in this case if I click the object mode here you get to see we're within the object context and we're able to select and manipulate our objects and all of the transforms are being stored within the transform um, within this uh, transform node or geometry uh, operator if we would like to enter into the object and start manipulating components we can do so with any of these options here points, edges, primitives, and doing so, the second we enter in a sub-object level, you get to see that we dive into the object, so right now we're at the object level, if we double click on this, we're in the sub-object level, and we can start grabbing and manipulating our components. So in this case, I'm grabbing for vertices, which the hotkey is 2 on the keyboard, and now all of our transforms here aren't being stored within the uh, within the transform level within our geometry sub or operator but it's being stored within this edit so this edit is keeping track of all the points that we have selected so we have points 61 to 62 which are these guys all the way up to uh, 92 here so um, all the transforms are being stored here now if we want to have access to our edge uh, uh, the edges within our object we can hit the 3 key so now I'm selecting my edges and we can transform our edges. Four key will give us access to our primitives. Now there's something that you might notice if you click and hold down. Uh, you do have access to points and vertices. Um, the language might get confusing if you're from other packages, but uh, points, essentially these can be shared vertices. So uh, your primitive can have shared points, whereas vertices are independent per per face. So um, if we actually look at our geometry and we middle click on a node here, you get to see that we have 100 shared points, whereas we have 324 uh, independent vertices.